Hello, my name is Sue Tejas. I teach deaf and hard of hearing students in Carlsbad, California. My class has been using telecommunications to contact other deaf students throughout the US, Canada, Denmark, and most recently England. This has been an exciting and revolutionary way for students to reach out and create new friendships. Hi, my name is Irene Mercado. Telecommunications is a way for the computer to hook up to the phone lines. We use a local network called Fred Mail. We can send electronic mail to lots of other deaf students. Hi, my name is Chuck Campaign, my name son. I'm writing to my friend, Gurley. She lives in Denmark. Gurley uses sign language, but Danish signs are different. American mom, Danish mom, American dad, and Danish dad. Hi, my name's Myra Leon. This is my name's sign. I've been writing to Bruno. He goes to school at Nyborg's Golan. That's in Denmark. It's fun to write to other deaf teenagers. I was surprised to learn that they ride bicycles in Denmark. Not many have their driver's licenses because it's so expensive. Hi, my name is Rob MacArthur. I have a pen pal in Canada and also one in Florida. Our pen pals in Florida sent us a videotape about the area where they live. We saw alligator farms and a presidio on the video. It is great to see how other kids live in other areas. We have done many cooperative learning projects with other classes on the network. It gives students a wide audience to write for. And after many letter exchanges with our Danish deaf pen pals, we invited them to come and visit in the US. They were able to come to California last May. It was a wonderful cultural exchange that created long lasting friendships. We would like to share a film clip of our first meeting. This is no ordinary group of kids on just any picnic. These students are goodwill ambassadors seeking to expand horizons and lessen the distance between two countries, the U.S. and Denmark. The students are also deaf. After only a few hours together, the students seem to have mastered the difference in the sign languages of the two countries. They've also overcome that fear of meeting people they thought would be very different from themselves. It was shy because I was afraid that they didn't have our same sign language and it was kind of nervous because sometimes they wouldn't understand us and we wouldn't understand them. Sign language. Before I came here, how, how would they understand me? And I hope to understand them. And And how will they assign? But now I've come here, I'm relaxed. It's easy to understand them. Despite the difference in languages, the students, computer pen pals for the past two years, are discovering they're more alike than they are different. They're just people reaching out to one another. Ana Martinez, 10 News, Carlsbad. Telecommunications can open the windows of the world for deaf students. It motivates our students to write well. 
It also provides a forum for teachers of the deaf to exchange ideas and successful projects. We hope that we have inspired many other schools to gain access to telecommunications in the classroom.